let us see what is oscillator first okay oscillator so any circuit that generates an alternating voltage is called an oscillator okay so or circuit or voltage generate in a circuit neana alternating voltage generate in a circuit neana nammal oscillators nu parayunnu okay and then so mainly applications of oscillators are it is to produce low frequency voltage and high frequency voltage so to produce low frequency and high frequency voltage we are using oscillators high frequency voltage is, is used in all communication system that is in radio television broadcasting and in transmitters okay so we are using high frequency voltage waveform so for production of this high frequency and low frequency voltage we are using oscillators so to generate the ac voltage the circuit is supplied and uh, supplied energy from a dc source so or oscillator nu parayna or circuit so oscillator so there should be an input that is a dc source okay oscillator should need to generate an ac voltage as output ac voltage as the output mm, so ac voltage is our output so for that we are giving the source is a dc source so the circuit is supplied energy from a dc source okay so mm, main classifications of oscillators are there are, there are mainly two type of oscillators sinusoidal and non sinusoidal okay non sinusoidal is also there so sinusoidal oscillator produces sine waves that means if it is a sinusoidal oscillator it will produce the output as sinusoidal waveforms if it is non sinusoidal waveform non sinusoidal oscillator that produce square waves either square wave or pulse waves just pulse waves or triangular wave form output will be either square wave triangular wave pulses or sawtooth wave form sawtooth wave form will be like this okay sawtooth waves so the circuit which generates square waves are usually called as multi vibrator okay स्क्वयर वेव प्रोड्यूस सर्क्यूट नोर्मली पर मल्टी वैब्रेट मल्टी वैब्रेट ओके सो हि आर् गोइंग टू स्टडी सैन सोडल ओसिलेट ओके सैन सोडल ओसिलेट सो एनी सर्क्यूट दट जनर ऑलटर्नेटिंग वोलटेज इज कॉल्ड एंड ओसिलेट सो टू जनर an ac voltage the circuit is supplied energy from a dc source so at the starting time only we use this dc source then the circuit itself work as a generator and it produce an ac output voltage and the main applications are high voltage high frequency and low frequency voltage production and mainly there are of two type sinusoidal and non sinusoidal sinusoidal oscillator means it will produce sine wave forms non sinusoidal means it is it may produce square pulses or sawtooth or triangular wave forms and sinusoidal oscillators are of three type uh, three types we are going to study that is tuned circuit rc oscillator crystal oscillator hartley oscillators are the before that we are going to study um, what and different types of sinusoidal oscillation there are two types of sine uh, oscillation center one is damped oscillation this one is damped damped oscillation damped oscillation means the electrical oscillation whose amplitude goes on decreasing with the time are called here you can see the amplitude of the wave is that means peak to peak value is decreasing and it will die out with respect to time that type of oscillations is known as damped oscillation 
This one is undamped oscillation. Undamped oscillation. Okay. Undamped oscillations are the electrical oscillations whose amplitude or peak to peak value will remain constant. You can see that it is constant with respect to time. And it is called undamped oscillation. And these are the two types of um, what? oscillation. Now we are going to study sinusoidal oscillator. So in which first one is tuned circuit. First we are going to study a tuned circuit. An inductor and a capacitor. Here you can see an inductor and a capacitor connected in parallel form a tuned circuit. So an inductor which is connected in um, parallel with a capacitor which forms a tuned circuit. Energy is introduced into this circuit by connecting a capacitor to a DC voltage. So, so if an LC circuit which is connected in parallel has to uh, work as an oscillator, first we have to give a DC voltage source as input. So first I will draw the initial input to the tuned circuit to oscillate right and then AC waveform generator and then input voltage apply to it. If this is your inductor and just take three points here. This is your switch S. This is position 1 and this is position 2. So you are connecting your capacitor. Okay, capacitor which is in parallel with your inductor here. And this is your battery which is DC voltage source which is given to your LC circuit. So this one is L and this is C. Okay. So first we will connect our input. So you have to connect a DC voltage source. When the switch S is at position 1, when this is at position 1, the capacitor gets charged. Okay. Now the DC voltage source is the capacitor charge down up to plus minus. You know, charge down. Okay, get charged. And the voltage will be, and there is a voltage across it. Okay. When the switch S is uh, changed to the position 2, when the switch is changed to position 2, what happens? Another one of When it is charged to plus minus like this, now you are turned your switch to position 2. That means the current starts flowing in the circuit. Now the current flow will occur like this in the LC circuit. First we charged our capacitor up to maximum value by using this DC source. Then we turned our switch to position 2. When, when it reaches at position 2, it starts mm, flowing current through the circuit. And the capacitor now starts discharging through the inductor. Okay. Since the inductor has a property, we know the induct, um, inductor has a basic property of opposing any change in current. So the current builds up slowly. You can see the current flows through the circuit and it builds up slow, uh, and there will be an EMF which builds up slowly in the uh, magnetic field which is built up in inductor. Okay. Maximum current flows in the circuit when the capacitor is fully discharged. Capacitor fully discharged and maximum current will flow. Okay. At this instant, potential energy of system is zero. Fully discharged and our system is potential energy is zero. Once the capacitor is fully discharged, the magnetic field begins to collapse. One the complete capacitor is discharged in the same and then the magnetic field decrease and the inductor will store the magnetic field decrease and the okay. So the back EMF inductor, inductor, so there will be an EMF in the inductor and it keeps the current flowing in the same direction. Already there is a current flow and then the change in that direction the current flow in the inductor maintain. Okay. 
So the capacitor starts charging. So the current wind will flow in this way. The capacitor will charge in this way. That is the opposite polarity. That is the plus minus. Now it is minus plus. That is the opposite polarity. The wind will charge in this way. Charge in this way. So the capacitor charges in the opposite polarity. So the interchange of oscillations of energy between inductor and capacitor repeated again and again. First of all, capacitor uh, minus plus in the charge. Out. Then again, full, um, complete magnetic field discharge. Capacitor fully charged. Out. Again, it starts discharging through the um, inductor. So it again plus minus sound, then minus plus, plus minus. In an alternating uh, cycle, we have the opposite polarity capacitor charge and discharge. AMG. So, when we take an output across this circuit, the output will be like this. Okay. Output waveform will be a damped uh, AC oscillation. In practical, we know that is an LC circuit. An inductor L will have some inductive reactant. Some resistance will be there in an inductor. That is XL inductive reactant that is L omega. So there will be some inductive reactants in an inductor. Similarly in the capacitor there is a dielectric material. Um, there will be some leakage. So the um, capacitive reactant XC is present in capacitor also. So there will be reactants 1 by C omega and then we will represent here. Okay. C 1 by C omega. So there are some leakage. Because of this factor some energy loss take place during each cycle of oscillation. So first cycle in an EUR peak to peak value on the irikim. But the next cycle due to this losses due to resistive losses peak to peak value will be decreased. Okay. So because of this factor, energy loss will be there. As a result of loss, the amplitude dies down. And the amplitude in a corner corner with respect to time, it will dies down. Okay. Thus, a tank circuit or a LC circuit by itself is capable of producing oscillations. So um, tank circuit and LC circuit in the parana circuit in a नमले input ओन में लगा रहे थे first ओन का पास्टर चार्ज है इधर इन्हें नमले ये योरू battery भी move इधर है ना then it alone that is LC circuit alone can work as an oscillator it can generate a damped oscillation okay so tank circuit by itself is capable of producing oscillation but they are damped oscillation damped oscillation okay damped LC circuit ना Without input, that is input is just a capacitor charge and when we use it, we use it, then we use it, then we use it, then we use it, then we use it, but the LC circuit can produce a wave oscillation which is a damped oscillation. What is the damped oscillation? The inductor and capacitor is a resistive loss, and the amplitude is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit. Next is positive feedback amplifier as an oscillator. For a normal, we have already transistor amplifier budget. So, for a positive feedback amplifier, we have an oscillator right to work in. Okay. So, positive feedback amplifier. So, positive feedback amplifier as oscillator. Okay. So, when an oscillator generates an AC output signal without any input signal. I mean, theoretically, without any input signal, but at the initial stage, there will be a DC source to give input. Then, it is removing and simultaneously, the circuit will get a feedback and it will work 
as an oscillator. Okay, so we start with a DC source input and use it, then we remove it. We use oscillator as an oscillator. An oscillator generates AC output signal without any input signal. We use it as an oscillator as an oscillator. Then we remove it as an oscillator. Then we remove it as an oscillator. And that oscillation maintain chain on the matter of output. Okay. So a part of an output. Here you can see this is your amplifier circuit. We have a particular normal basic element and there is a transistor which works as a common emitter type of transistor which works as an amplifier. So your amplifier circuit is another basic element. Okay. And this is a feedback network. Okay. And So, a part of the output is fed back. Here you can see this is your output V out. This voltage V out is feeding back to our input. Here you can see feeding back to our input. And this feedback signal is the only input to the interior amplifier. It is the only input to the interior amplifier. So the positive feedback amplifier is that it produces a feedback voltage that is in phase with the original signal. So we are in phase now. So we have input voltage that is in phase with the original signal. So we have to start with the positive half cycle then negative half cycle. That is the same cycle. This is the input. V in. So we have to start with the feedback voltage. V f is the same. We have to start with the same wave. We have to start with the same wave. Ini, ini na opposing ayat itu ingin yang anu dah, nanti nama lantuk barang 180 degree phase shift orang dalam barang. So, nama kita feedback voltage itu barang ini, nanti nama kita kodikan na input voltage ini in phase ada, ada. Ini phase silo la wave yang ni, nanti nama feedback ayat itu terus provide ini. Angin orang la circuit ini, nanti nama positive feedback itu barang. Negative feedback itu barang ini, 180 degree phase shift orang dari kita. Okay. So this circuit is a positive feedback amplifier because it produces a feedback voltage that is in phase with the original input signal. So the voltage source V in. Input voltage V in we have to do it. So this is your voltage source input voltage V in which is connected here at S of this internal amplifier with a voltage gain of A. So this amplifier will have a voltage gain A. And the amplified voltage, the output V out is equal to A V in. Okay. Okay. So V0 is equal to A into V in I. Okay. So the amplified signal A in drives the feedback circuit. This is the feedback circuit voltage and which this feedback network is produce a feedback voltage and here this feedback factor is beta so your output to here is a a is already the voltage gain of amplifier then beta is the feedback factor and a beta v in is the feedback voltage that is v f is a beta V in. Okay. So this voltage returns to the point S. Here you can see the voltage is returning to this point S. If the phase shift due to the amplifier and the feedback network is correct, then the amplified output voltage is V out is equal to A beta in. Now we have to say the amplifier is 180 degree phase shift to produce A. The output voltage will be like this. Your input is like this. Then again a 180 degree phase shift is produced by feedback network. So it reaches again in the same direction. input wave. That is the output of the opposite. V into 180 degree phase shift is feedback network. The input voltage is similar. Okay. So which are in phase. So your output voltage V0 is equal to A V in. And feedback voltage is A beta V in. Okay. If the phase shift through amplifier and the feedback circuit is 0 degree, A beta V in is in phase with the original signal. 
അങ്ങനെ പറയാം രണ്ടും ടോട്ടൽ വൺ എയ്റ്റി പ്ലസ് വൺ എയ്റ്റി എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ത്രീ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഡിഗ്രി ഓർ സീറോ ഡിഗ്രി എന്ന് നമുക്ക് പറയാം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻഫേസ് ആയിരിക്കും വിത്ത് ദ ഇൻപുട്ട് വോൾട്ടേജ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് വോൾട്ടേജ് എ ബീറ്റ വി ഇൻ വിൽ ഡ്രൈവ് ദ ഇൻപുട്ട് ടെർമിനൽ ഓഫ് ദ ആംബുലൻസ് സപ്പോസ് വി കണക്ട് ദിസ് പോയിന്റ് ദിസ് പോയിന്റ് ടു എസ് അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു റിമൂവ് ദിസ് വി ഇൻ അതായത് നമ്മൾ വി ഇൻ എന്ന വോൾട്ടേജ് റിമൂവ് ചെയ്യുകയും അതേ ടൈമിൽ തന്നെ ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് കണക്ട് ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്യാം ദെൻ ദ ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് വോൾട്ടേജ് എ ബീറ്റ വി ഇൻ വിൽ ഡ്രൈവ് ദ ഇൻപുട്ട് ടെർമിനൽ ഓഫ് ദ ആംബ്ലിഫയർ ദെൻ ഓൺലി ഈ ഒരു പോർഷൻ ഇത്രയും ഒരു പോർഷൻ മാത്രം ഒരു ഓസിലേറ്റർ ആയിട്ട് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യും വിത്തൗട്ട് ഇൻപുട്ട് സിഗ്നൽ ഓൺലി അറ്റ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം വി ആർ ഗിവിംഗ് ആൻ ഇൻപുട്ട് വോൾട്ടേജ് ദെൻ വി ആർ റിമൂവിംഗ് ആൻഡ് സൈമൽട്ടേനിയസ്ലി വി ആർ ഗിവിംഗ് എ ബീറ്റ വി ഇൻ ആസ് ദ ഇൻപുട്ട് ടു ആംബ്ലിഫയർ സർക്യൂട്ട് ദെൻ ദ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് വേവ് ഫോം വിൽ ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് ഓൺ ദ ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് ഫാക്ടർ ആൻഡ് വോൾട്ടേജ് ഗെയിം ഓക്കെ അതായത് നമുക്ക് നോക്കാം Uh, how will be the output voltage if uh, a beta that means the output voltage characteristics will depend on these two values a and beta if it is less than 1 then what will be a beta v in a beta v in will be less than v in like a beta nu parayna value less than 1 anagi a beta v in will be less than v in that means നമ്മൾ നോക്കാം നമ്മൾ കൊടുക്കുന്ന ഇൻപുട്ട് വോൾട്ടേജിനേക്കാളും ലെസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള വോൾട്ടേജ് ആണ് തിരിച്ചു വരുന്നെങ്കിൽ എങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഓസിലേഷൻസ് ആയിരിക്കും ഇറ്റ് വിൽ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യുക ഇറ്റ് വിൽ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് എ വോൾട്ടേജ് ആസ് എ ഡാംഡ് ഓസിലേഷൻ ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഡൈ ഔട്ട് അതായത് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഡൈ നമ്മൾ പഠിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടല്ലോ ഡാംഡ് ഓസിലേഷൻസ് ആംബ്ലിറ്റ്യൂഡ് കുറഞ്ഞു കുറഞ്ഞു വന്ന് ഡൈ ഔട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു വേ ഫോം ആയിരിക്കും അവർ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യുക അതായത് എ ബീറ്റ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഫാക്ടർ less than 1 now only ini next to the possibility if a beta greater than 1 anengil endarikkum that is a beta v in will be greater than v in now so at this time the voltage will build up that means the output signal will be like this ingane increase edu varuna oru voltage aanum building up voltage aanu produce cheyyan and if a beta equal to 1 anengilo aa samayathu endu sambhavikka a beta v in nu parayunnathu a beta v in will be equal to v in ennu oru voltage aanu produce cheya then the output voltage is a steady sinusoidal voltage like this ingane oru steady aayittulla constant amplitude ullo oru voltage aanu produce cheya in this case the circuit supplies it on input signal and produces a constant sine wave output so in an oscillator the value of loop gain a beta greater than 1 then power is first turned on that means we have to connect a beta if it is greater than 1 that means we have to connect our oscillator circuit like the feedback factor a beta should be greater than 1 when the power is first turned on then a small starting voltage is applied to the input that is v in is given to the amplifier circuit input terminal and the output voltage build up after the output voltage reaches reaches a desired value that means v out reaches a maximum value or desired value then what uh, what will we do we will remove this v in and a bit and that means the value of a beta should automatically become equal to 1 and that initially nammal a beta greater than 1 kodukum then input voltage um apply cheyam appo or output voltage kittum or desired output voltage etti kayumbo nammal ee v in remove cheyam so automatically a beta equal to 1 ettum at the time we are connecting our feedback circuit then this feedback circuit will drive the Uh, amplifier circuit and it will produce an oscillation as a steady oscillation because if a beta is equal to 1 then it will produce a steady sinusoidal output voltage okay so once the circuit receives input trigger and the input voltage kodutha the input trigger kodutha kanya it would become an oscillator generating oscillations with no external source 
that means when we remove this vn then also it can produce an oscillation without an external source but but only thing is it once the circuit receives uh, an input trigger then it can work as an oscillator okay and um, next one is a barkhausen criteria barkhausen criteria okay Markovian criterion means in order to produce a continuous undamped oscillation or a continuous cycle undamped oscillation steady cycle in a waveform produce the angle at the output of the our uh, amplifier then the positive feedback should be we know that the condition it should be a beta is equal to 1 i can so the voltage gain of the positive feedback amplifier is given by a f voltage gain and there can be f is equal to voltage gain of amplifier a by 1 minus a beta okay a by 1 minus a beta that is in order to produce a continuous undamped oscillation at the output of an amplifier the positive feedback should be such that a beta should be equal to 1 the voltage gain of the positive feedback amplifier is given by AF is equal to A by 1 minus A beta. That is feedback network. The voltage gain we are going to do is A by 1 minus A beta. If A beta is equal to 1, if this is 1, what happens? This equation becomes infinity. Okay. So the gain becomes infinity means the gain of a feedback network becomes infinity. And that's all in the meaning. And the it means that there is a output without any input signal that is a beta uh, uh, a beta means af feedback voltage gain infinity over and over it that circuit can produce an output waveform without any input signal and that is the meaning that means amplifier becomes an oscillator so the condition a beta is equal to 1 is known as so this condition a beta is equal to 1 is known as barkhausen criteria okay barkhausen criteria of oscillator അതായത് ഒരു ഓസിലേറ്റർ ഒരു അൻഡാമ്പ്ഡ് ഓസിലേഷൻ മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ ഉള്ള മെയിൻ ക്രൈറ്റീരിയ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എ ബിറ്റ ഷുഡ് ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ ആണ് എ ബിറ്റ ഷുഡ് ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് വോൾട്ടേജ് ഗെയിൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എ ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ വൺ മൈനസ് എ ബിറ്റ ആയിരിക്കണം സോ ഈ ഒരു ഇക്വേഷനിൽ എ ബിറ്റ ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ കൊടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്കറിയാം ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് വോൾട്ടേജ് ഗെയിൻ ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ആയിരിക്കും ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് വോൾട്ടേജ് ഗെയിൻ ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ അതിന്റെ മീനിങ് വിതൗട്ട് ആൻ ഇൻപുട്ട് സിഗ്നൽ ദാറ്റ് സർക്യൂട്ട് ആംപ്ലിഫയർ ക്യാൻ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ആൻഡ് ഓസിലേഷൻ എന്നാണ് ആൻഡ് ഓസിലേഷൻ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് വിതൌട്ട് ഇൻപുട്ട് സിഗ്നൽ ദാറ്റ് സർക്യൂട്ട് ക്യാൻ ജനറേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് വോൾട്ടേജ് എന്നാണ് അതിന്റെ മീൻ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ബാർക്കോസൻ ക്രൈറ്റീരിയൻ മീൻസ് ബാർക്കോസൻ ക്രൈറ്റീരിയൻ ഓഫ് ഓസിലേറ്റർ ഇസ് എ ബീറ്റ ഷുഡ് ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ ഓക്കെ ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് നെറ്റ്വർക്ക് നമ്മൾ ഓൾറെഡി പറഞ്ഞു ദർ ആർ ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ട്രാൻസിസ്റ്റർ ഓസിലേറ്റേഴ്സ് അതിൽ നമുക്ക് മെയിൻലി നമ്മളിപ്പോ പഠിച്ചതാണ് ട്രാൻസിസ്റ്റർ ട്യൂൺഡ് എൽ സി സർക്യൂ ട്യൂൺഡ് കളക്ടർ ഓസിലേറ്റർ നമ്മൾ പഠിച്ചു ദെൻ വർക്കൗസും ക്രൈറ്റീനും ഒക്കെ പഠിച്ചു അപ്പൊ അതിന് ശരി only one circuit and we have studied it and there are another one coal pit oscillator hartley oscillator phase shift oscillator wien bridge oscillator and crystal oscillator and this classification is um, depend on the method by which energy is supplied to the amplifier circuit transistor amplifier circuit okay so the transistor oscillators are classified on the basis of method by which energy is supplied and they are tuned collector oscillator coal pit oscillator hartley phase shift oscillator wien bridge and crystal oscillator and you should remember this frequency uh, of lc circuit is 1 by 2 pi root of lc okay and only one circuit matram in explain here ഒരു ഒരൊറ്റ ഓസിലേറ്റർ മാത്രം ഓക്കെ കോൾ പിറ്റ്സ് ഓസിലേറ്റർ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ കോൾ പിറ്റ്സ് ഓസിലേറ്റർ സർക്യൂട്ട് 
ഇത് കണ്ട ഒരു കൺഫ്യൂസ്ഡ് ആവുന്നൊന്നും വേണ്ട ഒരുപാട് വലിയ സർക്യൂട്ട് ഒന്ന് മറ്റു കാര്യം ഓർത്താൽ മതി സോറി ഓക്കെ ഈ ഒരു പോർഷൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ട്രാൻസിസ്റ്റർ ആൻഡ് ടു കപ്പാസിറ്റർ ആൻഡ് ഇൻഡക്ടർ ഈ ഒരു പോർഷൻ ആണ് നമ്മുടെ ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് നെറ്റ്വർക്ക് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് And R1 and R2, these are give, connected as a biasing resistors. That's why we are connected. This is the third portion. Then, the emitter circuit is resistance and capacitance. And the collector circuit is radio frequency choke and output. Okay. This is the third portion. Then, we have a basic amplifier circuit. Then, we have a transistor. Then, a feedback network is a combination of two capacitors and an inductor. and there will be two biasing resistors etre kodu ini onnode nan explain cheyam inda okay so it uses two capacitors and placed across a common inductor ee oru portion aanu adi parayam so okay so it uses two capacitors c1 and c2 and an inductor l and center of the two capacitors is tapped tapped means circling cheyidittunde center of the capacitors is tapped that is tank circuit is made up of that is feedback circuit or tank circuit is made up of two um, capacitors c1 c2 and the inductor l the frequency of oscillation is determined by the value of c1 and c2 and l that is given by f is equal to 2 pi root l ct where the total capacitance is c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 okay and you can see the red r1 here an r1 is connected between collector and base you know that this is your collector and this is your base and this is emitter this is collector okay so in between collector and base there is a resistor r1 and in between emitter and base emitter um earth dana adu pole emitter and this base in between these two points the random common earthing point and another grounded point so in between emitter and base another resistor r2 is connected and the radio frequency choke is there uh, that is permitting an easy flow of dc current at the um, so radio frequency choke in the function which it permits an easy flow of dc current at the same time it offers very high impedance to high frequency currents that is dc a very low resistance path lode pass aikan venditum adu pole ac ne block cheyan venditana nammal ivide oru radio frequency choke kodukkunnu ac ne ee oru collector circuit lode pass illa adu pole adayada output ee vcc ennu parana input kodukkunna portion lode ac waveform pass illa pagaram dc ne valare easy aayittu idilude low resistance path lode amplifier circuit lode kodukkan cheyyum idu nammade starting time la input aanu then output nu parayunnathu nammade oscillations aanu aa oscillation orikkalum thirichu ingotu poyilla because inductor will uh, give high resistance to ac and low resistance to dc അതായത് നമ്മുടെ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഒരിക്കലും റേഡിയോ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ചോക്കിലോട്ട് അതായത് ആ ഒരു ഡി സി വോൾട്ടേജ് ഹോസിലോട്ട് പോകില്ല നേരെ ഇങ്ങോട്ട് തന്നെ വരും എന്നാണ് അതിന്റെ അർത്ഥം മീനിങ് കപ്ലിംഗ് കപ്പാസിറ്റർ ഓൾസോ പറയാം ഇത് ഇവിടെ ഒരു കപ്പാസിറ്റർ കൂടെ കൊടുക്കുന്നതാണ് സി എസ് ടി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന കപ്ലിംഗ് കപ്പാസിറ്റർ കൂടെ നമുക്ക് ഇവിടെ കണക്ട് ചെയ്യാം ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് കപ്ലിംഗ് കപ്പാസിറ്റർ and the output circuit does not permit dc current to go to the tank circuit ee coupling capacitor nu ivide provide cheyana endartha ee veruna dc nammal amplifier circuit lotu maatrame povullu tirichu ingane output circuit lotu povadirikkan vendittana ingane oru capacitor kuda place cheyana coupling capacitor okay and when the circuit is turned on collector current rises and the capacitor c1 and c2 are charged okay and then the number circuit on cheyidu kanyale collector there will be an output at the oscillator circuit transistor and uh, sorry oscillator means amplifier circuit your amplifier la output undayirikkum that amplifier will charge c1 and c2 okay and uh, these capacitor discharge through the coil 
and this will discharge through the coil L. Setting up an oscillation of frequency F is equal to 2 pi root L C T. And these oscillations across C2. In C2 and across the oscillations in the which are applied to the base emitter junction, which will be applied across this base emitter junction, which appear in the amplified form in the collector circuit. Okay. So, uh, in C2 and across the charge, I mean, feedback is the base emitter amplifier and the base emitter junction. And that is feedback voltage is developed across C2 and a voltage which is developed across C1 is our output voltage and this one is feedback voltage. Okay, feedback voltage is uh, developed across C2 and uh, output voltage is developed across C1. And a phase shift of 180 degree is produced by the transistor and the further phase shift of 180 degree is produced by this C1, C2 voltage divider. So already the output have 180 degree phase shift and here these two combination also produces a 180 degree phase shift. So the output will be in phase, the output flowing to our base emitter again will be in phase with your input already having input signal in phase line here is 180 degree phase shift produce in again this circuit or 180 degree phase shift produce in. okay so um, and if, um, the feedback is properly phased right? uh, and to produce a continuous undamped oscillation Okay, so in feedback, we have to use the first work in the time. The oscillator is clear. Okay. When the oscillator starts, uh, when we give an input voltage, the circuit turn on and the output will be there and the output will charge C1 and C2 and it will flow a current through the circuit and the feedback will flow through C2 to our uh, amplifier junction. When this first cycle coming through this and it reaches a maximum value, this VCC will be uh, removed and this will, the circuit will work as an oscillator and the uh, output will be undamped oscillation. That means it will produce a constant output sinusoidal voltage and feedback, when the feedback is properly placed uh, to produce continuous undamped oscillation, feedback fraction should be like that. What will be the feedback fraction? Vf divided by V out. That means feedback voltage divided by output voltage. That is, there will be, you know that the output voltage is produced across C1 and C2 is feedback voltage. That is, Xc2 will be the divided by Xc1. We know that Xt is 1 by C omega. So 1 by C2 omega divided by 1 by C1 omega. You can write it as C1 by C2. Okay. 1 by C2 omega divided by 1 by C1 omega. We know that equation. Xt is 1 by C2 by 1 by C1 omega is C1 by C2. Okay. And the main application of coal pit oscillator is it is widely used in commercial signal generator about 1 megahertz. Signal generators are produced and we normally call it oscillator. You say signal generator means it can produce different types of uh, signals and sinusoidal square and different waves generate and different frequency output generate and signal generator. So, it is widely used in commercial signal generator about 1 megahertz where it produces in uh, we have a call pitch oscillator you see. Okay. So, a call pitch oscillator is the basic element the transistor. The transistor is the output side we have a feedback network connect uh, the feedback network. You can see uh, here the feedback network is LC circuit. You have a C1 and C2 and L. This circuit is so, this is our feedback network. This is our base emitter junction. Feedback came. 
again the input will be removed and this circuit will work as an oscillator and it will produce output undamped oscillation to produce the analog condition or another C1 by C2 and the feedback fraction okay then it will add the class next on the part okay the cold pit oscillator number pattern on the feedback fraction and be in the bar and I think in another output other is T1 in a cross on output voltage is C2 in a cross on feedback voltage provide in the so the feedback fraction and we should be Vf by V out that is xc2 by x1 you can write it as c1 by c2 that is cold pit oscillator then next one is hardly oscillator we can study in the next class thank you